I'm 22 and I've never ironed before because I was injured when I was 17. I never did chores as a teenager. Um, and then when I got home, I lived with my parents. So my parents did my washing. And then I lived with my boyfriend's mum and she did our washing. And then we moved into this house and boyfriend's mum still does our washing just to help us out and we pay her for it, obviously. Um, and in lockdown, I've literally decided I'm gonna do everything myself. I bought a little iron and this will be my little iron ironing station. So this is the iron that I ended up getting. This is the T4 Ultra Guide. I literally just went out and bought this. Um, I went to Curry's PC World so I could actually feel the height because for me as a wheelchair user, oh my God, it looks like I'm gonna... <laughs> Shall I iron you, Betty? Your nose is already pretty ironed out, baby. I needed to make sure that it's not too heavy for me because although I've got strong upper body, it is hard, you know, as, as a wheelchair user, I'm sat down and it still takes, you know, a bit of effort. You want it quite light, but I didn't want like a really crappy one. So I went for this T4 one. I think it was like 45 quid, but you know, for a good iron, that's worth it really. Um, I'm trying to find something that's easy to iron. Oh, did I put no t-shirts in? Okay, oh, I'm scared. So yeah, I've never actually ironed um, before until yesterday when I tried it. Um, I just never did it. So I'm gonna check the what the instructions on here. This is a very nice t-shirt. Iron on medium heat. So it's on delicate now. So let's put it to to the middle option here. It's a good little steam iron this, so um, I'm very happy with it. Um, is it on? Okay, so this is a disabled person ironing for you to all see. So apparently you're supposed to start from the bottom. So I'm just letting it hang. Um, <clears throat> please let me know in the comments how you iron if you're disabled and in a wheelchair. Um, and some ironing tips in general because I'm awful. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna brush it down and let's have a go. So that's medium heat. It's like an alien, alien thing for me, but it's actually quite therapeutic, I find. Um, I never know what direction you're supposed to do it. Um, the iron's from Curry's PC World, so um, I got like a nine pound return and replace thing that if it ever breaks, it will replace, they'll replace it with a brand new one for three, uh, three years they've kept that. So, yeah. But it scares me at the moment ironing because I'm just not used to it and I don't want to mess up Jack's nice t-shirt. I feel like during lockdown and everything, I've become a perfect housewife. I've just been doing everything. Um, when I was at work, you know, I always lent on others to do things for me. You know, I, I kept the house as clean as I could and everything, but I did lean on others. And lockdown has kind of forced me to do things myself. And it's positive uh, development, I think. Um, okay, so that's that. And then the sleeves. Are you supposed to do it that way? I don't know. I honestly don't know how to do sleeves. Well, I could have just left it where it was, I guess. Yeah, I'm such an inexperienced, typical woman. <laughs> um, and it turns off as well if, if you've left it on too long. Um, it turns off within like 30 seconds face down 
and I wonder if these goes to iron the collar. I don't know. I'll iron up here, this has got a bit of colour here. That's better. Thing is, I get a bit obsessive about it, then it'll take me forever. I'm crazy where if I become a mum, I'll have to do all my kids' iron and, and then I'll just obviously go hang it up in my wardrobe. So stuff like this, I don't think that's gonna need ironing. Really, trousers and stuff, do you really need to iron? I might do these because these are a bit um, crumpled. Oh, I might put that on delicate because these are quite thin. So we bought a washer dry instead because what we had before was a washing, just a washing machine and we had a separate tumble dry in the conservatory. But what that meant then is that I put stuff in there, wash it and then I'd have to like carry it on my lap all the way to the conservatory and often drop it and stuff. So we traded it um, with one of our family members to get this, to get this washer dryer. The only thing is you, you can only put like a few things in so it's almost like a daily thing to get it washed and dried in 45 minutes all the other ones are bloody way too long like hours and hours so there's like a daily 45 minute one that's much more beneficial to me for good iron it's worth it really and um i tried another one it was a really expensive one it was like 80 quid it was a t4 one um, but it was just way, way, way too heavy for me to do comfortably. And, you know, I want it to be as easy as possible for me to glide over me and my boyfriend's clothes, not get tired out from doing it, and just be able to kind of have the freedom of being independent again. Um, it is embarrassing that I've never ironed in my life, uh, purely because growing up I wasn't really made to do chores or anything. So um, it's all new for me. <laughs> <laughs> ironing it's a steam iron it shoots out stuff i'm becoming like a real house bird and i find it kind of therapeutic to be honest um and at my little table that i've got it's perfect height for me to iron because you can get ones that are like attached to the wall like ironing boards that attach to the wall and drop down so i could do that potentially um but yeah we're just trying to find out the best way of doing things and this is a way i can be truly independent so yeah um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.